Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Tuesday, the 5th of November 2019. So according to uh, the uh, Coin Telegraph, a Bitcoin price analyst, second phase of bull market triggers at 14,000. So what uh, the article is saying that if uh, Bitcoin can manage to uh, get back above uh, $14,000, which is 4,000 uh, away from the current price, well, a bit more actually, uh, 4,700, then uh, we will see uh, a march towards uh, the uh, all-time high that we saw way back in uh, December of uh, 17, which uh, we see here. So we've got about a 50% retracement at one point, but uh, needs to get back above uh, the 14,000, which uh, of course, if I just draw this on, the zero percent extension and draw across you will see there's the 13,900 level so what we're looking at is the market to get uh, back above uh, the June high there of uh, 13,920. Uh, the market uh, has moved up slightly in the uh, uh, Monday's trading session you can see that they're just sort of breaking out of this sideways uh, move but has then become uh, quiet again it's uh, really uh, a pain I read a nice uh, bit of a trend here up of uh, the market breaking through the 200 MA and then sitting on this and then uh, moving back slightly towards the 50 uh, and then a, a spike up. And then as we move forward in the chart, you can see that the market's given back uh, at least uh, three quarters of the move at the moment. So and then become patchy again. So it needs to uh, sort itself out and get a few more traders uh, in this market uh, to improve the liquidity and the smoothness of uh, the trades as we saw back in uh, the earlier part of the year. You can see where it's uh, been sideways for a while in the four hour chart there, which uh, is a pain uh, because prior to this and moving through drag the chart here we had uh, some decent volatility all the way up until uh, a few weeks ago where we just become sideways and then we had the spike on the China rumors and then we've gone back into this sideways uh, move again at the moment meanwhile in the stock markets uh, soaring investor greed sends Dow to record high despite uh, momentum uh, massacre so as I've said continue to say that the uh, Dow is only going one way and that's to the upside with corrections and those corrections can be predicted by looking at the implied uh, volatility but yesterday's move came about in the pre-market session just after uh, 8 a.m. the market uh, started it's nice and smooth and the market just moves higher and higher and then just before we kick off with the main event the market uh, also throws in uh, another big buying bar and of course as the cash market opens prices uh, then struggle because the job is done the market has already moved back to uh, the all-time highs and created new all-time highs we get a 76 percent uh, retracement here and then the market starts to move lower with a second uh, and we get a 76% retracement there and then eventually the market uh, moving lower and then just trading sideways and then also through uh, Lagarde's speech uh, you see the market then just uh, move lower thereafter but it doesn't take long before Trump sends out a tweet saying that there's going to be some concessions on the US China deal and we see the market move back to the upside straight through the 200 bar MA and uh, then finding support at yesterday's uh, DP level as well or today's DP level I get calculated from yesterday's and then the market uh, sideways to high and you can see this in the daily chart moving on absolutely nothing but it doesn't matter it's a case of just moving prices to the upside that's all that is required to do to keep the illusion alive and this could go on for the next 12 months while uh, Trump uh, has his campaign with Steve Mnuchin at the helm in the Treasury he was the the brightest computer programmer at Goldman Sachs so goodness knows what's going on inside of the uh, Fed's trading room 
and combined with all of the uh, shadow banking system anything is possible now with the connectivity of computers to keep this rigged and moving to the upside there meanwhile in the implied volatility this up slightly yesterday 11.19 we've got 11.04 for uh, friday so a slight concern there from the options traders as well but um I would like to see this drop down towards the the nines uh, then we'll get a, a far bigger correction like i say the long term the market is to be moved higher but in the short term there can be corrections as you see here as prices uh, pull back as the implied volatility is uh, marked up which uh, you'll see there so as the imp implied volatility increases you get the corrections in the market and we're due for one but at the moment they want to keep it uh, moving higher also the 10 year now 0 0.26 you can see this making a new high yesterday as well so uh, again uh, confirming that uh, recession is on route as simple as uh, that okay there's not uh, a lot else to report the the pound as i said uh, yesterday remains uh, sideways we managed uh, a 38 point move yesterday in the pound it's not really worth trading at the moment there's not enough volatility in this market too quiet and too steady at the moment and the daily chart you can see their prices becoming more range bound as well as we head into the general election and i think parliament uh, uh, prorogues tonight for the december the 12th uh, election so there we go with brexit off the table now at uh, well, for the time being there's uh, not a lot of uh, volatility around for the pound okay that will uh, do it for this one apart from a quick look at uh, what economic news have we got today uh, nothing for the uk to shout about uh, but we got uh, ism non-manufacturing pmi from the us at uh, uh, 3 p.m and that's uh, all the news you're going to get today apart from uh, trump's uh, twitter finger sending out uh, all sorts of things he's also uh, saying that he's uh, considering concessions in the china deal as well which is going to pump the market makes you wonder actually uh, you know he's not as stupid as uh, people think that he's put this in place because he knows that the uh, you put the, the deal in place that's good news and then of course it becomes uh, not so good news and the fact that he could take the deal off the table then becomes good news again and that keeps the market moving to the upside who knows but it just seems uh, an interesting uh, pattern of events there okay that's it for this one if there is anything else to report i will let you know but it's tuesday expect a fairly quietish day uh, given all the news uh, taken into the market and dealt with yesterday thanks for watching see you in the next one